So guys, in today's video, I'm gonna do this lightweight makeup routine that I would do if it was like 90, 100 degrees out and I was gonna be outside like at a barbecue or some type of function where I was afraid that I was gonna be sweating a lot. This is the makeup routine that I would do. So if that interests you, stay tuned. Okay, so like I shared in my intro, right now in New Jersey, it's like 95 degrees. I'm actually going out today with some friends and meeting them for lunch. And it's in an outdoor setting. It's like gonna be near a lake. And I don't know if we're gonna be eating indoors or outdoors. So I'm kind of planning on doing a makeup routine that will look okay in either setting. So anyway, what that looks like, it starts in my bathroom. And I would use, um, I start always, I wear sunblock all year round. But this would be the step I do before I put my moisturizer on, right? And this is Super Goop. It retails for, SPF is 50 and it retails for $22. And that's a 2.4 ounce. This one is more than that. Yeah, no, 2.4 ounces retails for $22. Okay, so I put that on, then I go over and I put my moisturizer on. Right now I'm using this one here by Caudalie. It is a uh, cream cashmere firming uh, moisturizer that I'm using. It retails for $69, it is 50 milliliters. And what I do is I'll take this moisturizer and I'll mix these tan luxe drops in with the moisturizer, right? Just to kind of give me sort of like a healthier glow. That's what I did actually this morning on my face. And now this is the result that I would get from just using these two products. Okay, next I would go in and I'm going to use a primer. I'm gonna use this one here by Smashbox. It is a lightweight primer. It goes on blurring primer, right? So it's gonna smooth over any pores or any texture that I might have on my skin. And this, re for one ounce of this retails for $42. And it's worth it because you don't need a lot of it. You just need to put this where you have any texture. Like I have texture on my chin, on my nose, and right here where my pores are larger. So I would just kind of go in and rub that all over. And here, and here. And any place that I have some, you know, my pores are larger and, you know, you don't need a lot of it. You just need a tiny bit. You don't need to put it all over your skin unless you, I guess you have larger pores going up on your forehead, which most people don't. So anyway, I would start with that. Then I would go in and today I'm going to take this uh, foundation. This is a tint by Say and it's a super glowy tint foundation. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to... <clears throat> Cut this back a little bit with some with some moisturizer. I'm going to take a little bit of this, you know, this uh, Caudalie moisturizer. I'm going to go in. I'm going to put that in there. Mix the two of them together. This is say is a super glowy tint foundation. It is in the number ten, and it retails. I'm sorry for forty dollars. So I would go in and I would take this. You can see it's kind of getting drippy. And I would take my foundation brush. And I would just kind of mix that in together. And this is just gonna cut back on the coverage. That's all that's gonna do. I'm gonna bring you in closer so you can see. And again, I just really want it super light. And I would just take that and bring that down just to give me a sheer coverage so it's not too heavy. I'm not gonna get as you know a good coverage with it, you know, like a heavier coverage, but I'm really don't care. I'm gonna be outside, you know, I don't really want it to look like I have too much makeup on. And you just kind of go over and blend that in. And then I would take it across here, and then I would take it across my forehead, obviously. Bring it down here and here and then i would also go across my eyes i would do it right do it there as opposed to using an eye primer then i would also use it underneath my eyes and this is just really going to even it out a little bit and camouflage some of the discoloration and you know the pinkness i have on my skin so it's a sheer coverage which I'm fine with, right? Because I'm good, like I said, I'm gonna be outdoors. I don't want anything too heavy. And then I would take a light mist. I'm gonna take this Prep and Prime by MAC. This is one of my favorites, Prep and Prime. 
This retails for $31. I would just need myself a light spritz with this. And that's just gonna kind of set that in place. Okay, next I would go, and I would take, I'm gonna take this palette here by Charlotte Tilbury. You can see it has, it has a bronzer, it has a highlighter, it has two blushes, and then it has these eyeshadows. For the sake of today's video, I'm just gonna use this bronzer, and I'm gonna use this bronzer as an eyeshadow. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a big fluffy brush like this one here, I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna swirl my brush around a little bit. This is the Instant Look in a Palette. It's Sunset Dreamscape Palette by Charlotte Tilbury and it retails for $75. And this is like a really great travel compact to take with you because it has, obviously it has everything in there that you would need. And then I would just go in and I would go sweep this across my, uh, my crease on my eyes here, just go back and forth just to kind of give it a wash of color, but nothing too heavy. You can see the difference. It kind of just makes it look like, you know, there's like a lightweight eyeshadow on there. And then I could kind of pull it up a little bit. I go in, I do the other side. Again, I'm not looking for anything too heavy. This is for, you know, like I said, if I was gonna be going to a barbecue and it's gonna be 90 degrees out or I'm gonna be like a pool party, whatever, you know, you know. <laughs> it's a different type of makeup application, I feel, when you're getting, when the heat is so bad, like, you know, you get into your car and, you know, you look up in the mirror and you're, you're sweating and you feel like, you know, and your makeup is dripping off your face. So if we do it in layers, right, and if we keep priming it in between, it's just gonna kind of set it there so it doesn't feel like it's just, laying on top of our face. It's kind of like it's, we're actually like, it, it's penetrating into our skin a little bit more if we use some setting sprays and kind of just do it lightly, nothing too heavy. Okay, so that's all I would put on in my, uh, on my eyes. I wouldn't put anything else on. I wouldn't put any shimmer on. I wouldn't do anything like that. Normally I would put shimmer across my lip, but I'm not gonna do that in the summertime. <clears throat> this is called Killer Chocolate by Too Faced and this is an eyeliner that I love. It's a 36 hour wear and it's weatherproof. And I would go in, and I would go in and just go underneath. I don't want to poke myself in the eye, so I'm going to look closer. Go underneath here and just kind of go across that lash line. I do this a lot anyway, but I really like this in the summertime because it just kind of makes my lashes pop more. You know, it just makes it a little bit deeper in there. And you just really have to go right in that lash line. And this is Killer Chocolate. Like I said, it's a 36 hour wear uh, eye pencil. I like it because you can smudge with this too. It's a great, it's a great pencil and it doesn't, it doesn't transfer. That's all I pretty much would do there. I mean, the last step I would do is my mascara and I'll do that at the end. <clears throat> and then I would go in next and I would go back into that Charlotte Tilbury palette because I'm kind of going for like a more bronzier type summer look. And I would go in and I would go back in again and I would take that bronzer and just kind of tap across here. I would start up here in the upper corner and just kind of tap that in there. Very lightly, just keep tapping it in there and then bringing it down here on my cheekbone. Now, if I'm going to go be swimming or anything like that, which, you know, I don't really do that much of it anymore, but if I was to go like in the ocean or the pool, I would just use like a sunblock with a tinted moisturizer in it. Just, that's all I would put on. I wouldn't put, and then I would put like some type of lip protection on. So again, again, I'm just looking to make it look like it's kind of sun-kissed, nothing too heavy. I'm not really contouring it. I'm just taking that bronzer and pushing it into the hairline here. Across the top of my, where my ear comes out here. And again, just kind of blend that in. And it's not, this is not too heavy, it's super light. But you can see it kind of like makes my cheekbones pop a little bit, makes it look like I have some color. And then I would bring it down here across my jawline. I wouldn't add any more on. Um, go in and I would take this blush. I take some blush, right? I would take this one here by Kara Weiss. This 
pink, it's called Happy. I will take my, hold on a second. <clears throat> take this blush brush and just to kind of again just to give myself a healthy glow but I don't really want to have it look like I have a whole bunch of blush on and kind of just like tap that in up in through here just to kind of make it look like I have a healthy glow and this blush retails a refill the refill for this because you get this palette right it's a metal palette Retails for $32 for the blush. And just keep tapping that in. I mean, if I wanted to a little bit, I could bring a little bit across my nose. But I'm trying not to bring too much down here because I don't want it to look like, you know, I'm bringing down my cheeks any further than I need to. So I would keep it up this way so it's more lifting. Okay, you could even take some of this and kind of brush it across your brow bone here. Not your brow bone. Your uh, eye socket bone here, just kind of go across here. Again, we're just we're looking to get just like a healthy glow. All right, next I would go and I would take now if it's going to be super hot out and you need like you you feel like you're going to be I don't know like in a situation where you're going to be sweating, I would definitely take a little bit of setting powder. Right, I would take this one by Patrick Star. It's called One Size. It's pink, right? So it's not gonna make it look like it's, you know, cakey or heavy at all. And I would take a little bit and I would take, I would take this powder puff, right? And I would tap in there, like that. Tap in there and now I don't want it to look glowy and dewy like here and underneath my eyes. So I just take it a little bit and press this in underneath there. And this is just gonna kind of brighten up that under eye too because it's pink, right? Can you see how I like took down the shine from this side to this side? We don't want it to look shiny and greasy looking underneath there. All right, so I go in and over here and do the same thing. And just kind of press that in gently underneath the eye. I would go around here where I would be sweating. And then right in here is another place where you don't want to look like it's, you're sweating. Up and just press that in. And again, I would take this prep and prime and I would spray again. Okay, and then I would go in. And the one size by Patrick Star is $30 and you get a ton of product. And I like this pink because it really is very brightening to the face. It's not like it's it's not like a a light like honey almond color where that's going to kind of like make it look a little bit drabber. This one's going to brighten it up with the pinkness that's in it. <clears throat> Next I would go in, I would fill in my brows a little bit. I have my brows microbladed, which I highly recommend if you put your brows on all the time and they, you know, especially if you're going to be out in the heat, it's like a lifesaver. But because I just went in and put the foundation all over my eyes and all over my entire face, like I want to go in and I want to just kind of like make sure it's they look like they're not drab looking from that in case I popped any of that foundation on there by accident and this is the precision brow by benefit and it retails for $24 and you can see it's a very fine line that has a very fine point I should say so it's really good at just kind of making Sorry, I'm like trying to get that light right. Just kind of making that little bit like hair-like stroke so it's not too powdery looking. It just looks like hair, which again, looks very natural. And I'm just gonna fill that one. I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna fill this one in very lightly. Those of you who have ever had your eyebrows microbladed, comment below. Let me know if you've ever had that done or, or let me know what your favorite brow pencil is for your brows. Okay, so that would be my brows. And then I would go in and I would use a mascara. And I'm gonna use this mascara here. I love this mascara, it's by City Beauty. It's the Beyond Mascara. It retails for like $35, I believe. But it's the volumizing treatment mascara. So if you're looking to enhance your, brow, your lashes, then I would definitely give this a try because it does and it's a treatment for your your lashes and it's also a wonderful mascara
Now we don't want the mascara to look clumpy either, so I would go in and I would take a clean brush here and I would go in and just kind of sweep them upwards just to make it look like I don't have anything on my lashes. That's what I like about this mascara. It's just so lightweight and just feels like it's nourishing your lashes, which it is because it's like a treatment. Okay, next I would go in and I would take this One Size by Patrick Star. This is a setting spray. This is a weatherproof setting spray and it is a mattifying, which I'm not usually a big fan of. Uh, but when it comes, when it's this hot and humid out, this is like your friend because it's, it'll last the entire time. And you don't have to worry again, again about it like ending up all over the place. So your makeup. So I'd go in, spray that over. <clears throat> and then next I would go in and the last and final thing I would do is go in and fill in my lips with this whatever walnut lip pencil, which is like my lip color, but a little bit, you know, a little bit deeper. Go in. And for me, I think like lip gloss in the summertime is like the best because it just looks, you know, healthier. It doesn't look too heavy on this face. And I'm going to take this one here by City Beauty, or City Lips, I should say. And it is in the color San Diego. And it's a lip plumping gloss, which I love because it's gonna, I have no lips really, but it's gonna plump up my lips and it's gonna make them look healthy and nourish in them. And it's also gonna help protect them a little bit. So you can see it's like a pretty summery color. <clears throat> up close view of what I do, but you can see it like now that I'm pulled away, I don't think anybody's gonna be coming that close to you. <laughs> If they do close talkers but if they do like you know what I mean you will you'll be self-conscious now this does not look like I have a lot of makeup on but it, it does look like I at least tried a little bit right to look like I am you know more awake that day I guess and for one other thing that I do is I would use this here as the Coco and Eve it is the sunny honey tanning uh, solution right and I would go in I would moisturize my body first. I think today I use Cetaphil, Cetaphil, and then I would go over and I would use this. And this is just gonna kinda give you a healthy tan, kind of like type glow, like where you would need it, like in your arms, your chest, your legs, wherever. And yeah, and I would just take this mitt, do a couple of pumps on this mitt, and then just kind of like go in circular motions all over my body just to kind of, you know, blend it in. There's no, there is a slight smell to it, but it's not horrible. Like some of the self tanners are that you do at home have a funky smell to it. This does not have a funky smell. One that it's tolerable, put it that way. Um, and then yeah, that lasts me for like a week. The only problem I have with the self tanner is it ends up all over my sheets, and I don't know, you know, I guess on my night sweats or going through menopause or whatever. I sweat at night and it does end up on my sheets, which is when it first happened, I was like, oh my God, my sheets look gross. But, and you know what? It's brown looking, so it looks like it's dirty, but it's clearly, it's just the, you know, it's just the self tanner that's on there. So you have to get over that part of it. It will end up on your sheets. But the payoff is you look healthier and glowier and you don't look like you're pasty. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, um, I happen to love this one. So if you're in the market for a self tanner, let me, you know, let give this one a try. Um, other than that, like, let me know what self tanner you use, where you're having the best luck using it, or if what you use, if you use like a body lotion, whatever you use in the summertime to kind of give you a healthy glow, you know, comment below and let me know. Uh, anyway, all these products will be listed below. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Um, I'm going to take my hair down. I'll be right back. So anyway, guys, that is my lightweight summertime makeup routine. This is what I would use, again, if I was going to be going outside when it's like 95, 100 degrees out, and I want my makeup to, you know, to last all day, but yet I don't want to look heavy and feel heavy on my skin. Uh, one other thing is, another thing that I use during this time of year is this Hair and Body Mist by Way. It's called St. Bart's. It has a lovely, fresh summertime smell to it. And I'll just kind of spray that as opposed to spraying like a perfume on through my hair and my clothes. Um, that way it just kind of gives me an overall fresh feeling. I get so many compliments when I wear this. Like so many people are, ooh, that smell, you smell so good. I'm like, oh, it's this. And it's very lightweight. It smells very fresh. And that is my 
old cat who I feel like she's going senile. If anybody knows anything about cats that go senile, would you please leave me a comment below and let me know what you do or what, is there something I can do to help her? Uh, but she certainly, she's going to be 18, 19 years old and she's showing signs of like dementia. Here she is guys. This is her. This is Aunt Helen. She's going to be 19 years old. Yeah, I know. I feel bad. Like she, I just find her doing the strangest things these days. So I don't know. You tell me if you ever had a cat that lived to be over 18 or 19 or had dementia, uh, let me know below. Thank you. Again, so much for watching. If you gained any value from this video, please subs consider subscribing, giving this video a thumbs up, and I will see you in my next video.